When I was a kid, I'd sometimes go over to my dad's paintings and like, Dad, there's a lump there. No, no, don't touch it. That's what makes it good. <laughs> That's what I love about Impressionism, that it's, it seems so careless in a way, but it's also so free. My mother did uh, collages out of wool, hand-woven wool from Greece, and, and sew it together or glue it together and to make these collages, and very beautiful and very... Uh, colorful work. And my father uh, is very colorful work. I mean, very, I would say, fauvistic, um, impressionist, and cubist. My father fell in love, basically, with another woman. And he, he sent my mother a letter and just telling her, look, I can't, you know, we can't be together anymore. It's just not working out. But the years after that were pretty chaotic. It, you know, my mother really didn't handle it very well. So um, she started drinking a lot. And um, it, yeah, that, that was a very difficult time. And I basically also started selling um, pills and stuff in Athens. I was probably 14. That was probably my first pair of real blue jeans. I'm so proud. <laughs> you have something that other people can't get, and that makes you popular in a way. Everybody, I think all kids want to be popular and well-liked and, and, you know, but I also needed the money, basically. That was my main reason for for dealing. And um, I got pretty good at it pretty fast. Uh, it was better than stealing. Um, I mean, I'm not... I'm not going to say I felt guilty about it, because everybody got high anyway, so... So this... Uh, drawing I did in the 11th grade. I was really delving into like some, a lot of cocaine and a darker side of things. It's like I'm trying to reach out and get free of all these, this pain and, and suffering that I was in. I don't know, I just felt kind of like I was just digging myself into a hole more and more of, of drugs and And, um, yeah, misery. <laughs> up, up, uh, higher, huh? Yeah, there you go. This is chili, and this is sativa. Now watch your head up here. A little bag of weed. This will last me a month at least. I don't smoke so much anymore. I used to smoke that much every day at least. <laughs> I had to escape and I came to Christiania, I found Christiania, and it was the best thing that's ever happened to me. Christiania came into being in 1971, when the army moved out, and a small group of young homeless squatters moved in. Soon they were joined by others, who formed the commune into what they called a free city, offering the real possibility of an alternative way of life. For me, it was a utopia. I came to Christiania, it was just beautiful, and I recreated myself in many ways. I fulfilled my dreams of being a, a drug dealer <laughs> in, in a positive way. I never felt bad about selling cannabis, and, and this was a sort of a 
hash dealer's paradise. Well, uh, actually, some of the dealers asked me if I could do something nice on the wall because they were tired of it. it was just graffiti and sort of random tags and stuff. So they wanted something to sort of show the conflict between authority and, and the people. So the Romans represent the cops. I have P PTSD, obviously. I mean, every night I have nightmares about loads of money, loads of hash, police. Um, you know, that's just, that's just, you know. Um, I don't regret it. I don't regret anything I've done. I, I think it's stupid to regret things that, as a person, uh, it's stupid to regret things that you've done because that's sort of like denying the lesson that you learned. Then Maurice, he took me on a, on a date, which I didn't know was a date. <laughs> no, I thought we were going out to eat as friends. Yeah. <laughs> and I was actually, uh, there were sitting some guys outside and I was asking them, hey, do you want to tag along? We're going out to eat. And they would say, no, no, no. And I didn't know it was because Marius was sitting behind me and doing like, no, you're not coming with. <laughs> so. <laughs> when I started painting, I, I decided I want to paint my house. The first thing that happened after I painted that, I was sitting outside, like satisfied with my work. And people started walking by and I just, they just all smiled. It's like in nature, you know, flowers, they have elaborate colors to, in order to attract bees. And, I'm, and I'm, I think that's my function as an artist. So that's, that's what I want to be. I want to be that flower that attracts all the bees. Radiance wakes up something in our brain and makes us happy. And as long as it does that, I'm going to continue painting. I've, I've never seen myself in a, in a painting before. I was checking out the hands, and I really admire the way you got David's hands mm. on the trumpet there. That looks so amazing. He's got those long fingers and it's <laughs> really... It's awesome. Yeah. I think and the faces are very, very realistic, you know? The male is smiling, like he's like, he's looking like enjoying. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then Jakob is like also enjoying, you know? Like uh, looking somewhere in the air, but feeling the moment. Absolutely. And then, then David is just uh, blowing with like, <laughs> Some kind of satisfaction in yeah. his uh -huh. face, you know? Uh -huh. Take it easy. Good to see you. My father also told me that it's easy to delve into the dark sides of your psyche and try to paint those, but who wants to look at that? <laughs> I, try to, I try to create something that people will come back to after maybe a long day, maybe even a depressing day, and come home and sit down on their couch and look up on my painting and think, wow, that's nice. You know, I wouldn't want to come home and look at somebody's drama. You know, I'd rather look at somebody's joy. I've just started on a, a new self-portrait for my upcoming biography. Um, it's going to be painted. It's not going to be drawn like this is. Probably look more serious on this than I normally look, but it's it's going to be a serious book. So I'm picturing this as the cover to that book that I'm writing. Well, my autobiography is about a long and twisted path towards my inevitable fate, which was becoming a painter. <laughs>